a look at this. One of my customers is getting into the Halloween spirit. Vacation! Woohoo! Don't go back until like uh, the second or third of November. Woohoo! So freaking happy! Yay! It's raining. Boo! There's an actor meeting today. Yay! Some people have already called me and said they can't make it. Boo! Epic Halloween build is about ready to start. Yay! I have to go in the backyard and pick up dog poo. Boo! All right, guys, um, just something I want to say really quick uh, about the whole pictures and your haunt. Email me your picture. Uh, don't tag it on Facebook. Just just email me your picture at HalloweenHellmouth at Yahoo.com. And um, no video because I just want to do like a really quick um, picture montage thing. Oh, my gosh, the traffic sucks. Here, look at traffic. There you go. People coming down the road. So anyway, just uh, email me your picture. Just one or two pictures. No video. Although, if you guys obviously have a YouTube channel, if you have video, post it on your channel. Alrighty. Alright guys, so the actors are here, and you can't see me. Well, maybe you can now. Woo. Ah! And anyway, that's one reason why I haven't filmed anything is because we've been outside going over positions and what to do and fire extinguishers and flow of traffic and all that other cool stuff. And safety as far as prop cars concerned, uh, what to look out for, who's going to have the radios, um, parking. Uh, food, drinks, uh, staying in character. So, yeah. That's what's been going on so far. <gasps> People showed up. Yay! Yeah. It's back, oh, way back here. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah if, you have, if you have longer fingers, it won't hit there. Like, yeah. See, that, that would be a cool costume. Kind of like a witch morphed with Freddy. It's <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> a witch with Freddy fingers. I'm oh, a half breed, yeah. you know? Cross breed. <laughs> yeah. That, that... Oh, yeah. I got a, I'm, I'm getting a scratch in the head, you know. Yeah. 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 There's scratch. Halloween party later on the night. How about scratching nice. the head? Ooh, that's oh, there you go. Oh, that's scratch. Hey, she found the deal. <laughs> Have you ever seen oh. Freddy Krueger? Oh, it's it's origin on Robo Oh, this does feel good. Oh. Yeah, Deb. I have him on Mortal Kombat. Oh, that's a good. I like <laughs> that one. Oh, oh, I owe you uh, the back scratcher. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Check your back for blood right. when you get home. Do you want me to bring uh, some masks and whatever I have, Troy? Like, huh? if you, see if you'll need it. Want me to bring my tubs of stuff? I got two tubs of Halloween. You have two tubs of Halloween. Yes. Oh, yeah. Say hi. Hi. Oh, What's hi. going on? This is Dayton. I'm the butcher. Thank for, you for, for the barbecue. For the and barbecue. hi. Name? I'm PJ. And what are you doing? The drop box. The drop. The panel. Drop panel. Drop panel. See, it, you get used to it. You really do. Okay. What? I promise. Huh? What? What? what you're doing? Do you won't get used to me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, oh, you don't have a job. Oh, sorry. I, I'll, right. I'll, I'll probably edit that. Okay, uh, maybe I won't. Um, what, exactly job I getting? what are you doing this week? What am I doing this week? Absolutely nothing. Maybe you want to come help. I could do that. Cool. All right. Because, I, I mean, besides emotional help, I need help with Han. <laughs> I'm a certified <laughs> therapist, don't <laughs> me? Oh, really? But you're also an actor, so are you acting about being a therapist? Exactly. <laughs> You got me. I come and <laughs> tissues sometime in the middle of the week. I might cry. I might cry. I'll be, I'll be the consoling shoulder. It's okay, Troy. <laughs> All right. Or, or do you want me to bring something to slap you in the face to keep you from crying? Uh, I, I, I do that myself. Uh, the other night, I was actually kicking my own ass in the vlog. <laughs> you guys remember that, right? So Brian just go mad. Nobody commented anything about that. I was sitting there. I was, I was actually kicking my own butt. And how exactly did you kick your own butt? That's amazing. All right, now show us. Okay, oh good, I gotta see this. This is good. Okay. You just sit here and you're like... Oh my god, you really can't kick your own butt. I was saying, I didn't see that at all. It, it, it's very, I don't know. Because I was trying to get some motivation because I was like, oh my gosh, I've got burnout. And it was just like, I had to get... 
Yeah, I, I, I asked them. The I asked my subscribers to, to give me some motivation. And I, I need. I asked one of them to come down and kick me in the butt to get me going. And it's like, wait. I can do I, it to myself. I can do it to myself. Yeah, hey. right. Oh yeah. That's pretty. That's exciting. what she said. <laughs> Who is this she and why did she you say know. it? Okay, when oh, you no, see the news, that, yeah. when you watch the news and they say somebody I was shot at gunpoint, why do people keep going there? It always happens. People always get shot at gunpoint. Stop going to gunpoint. <laughs> or knife point. Anyway, and this it's is Debbie. This is my cousin Debbie. She's going to be the witch this year. The witch at the fire. Say hi, Debbie. Hello. See, that was natural. Hey, Joe. And uh, Alexandra. I've, I've actually named them. I can't remember what I named them. Oh, you did give them real names? No, I give them fake names, but I don't know what Why to would you do. That? <laughs> <laughs> okay. people, that other skeleton is her own uh -oh, daughter. Oh, one's falling apart. What's the? Oh, that. That's that, my bad. It had a rough night. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, actually, actually, actually cooked it for dinner last night in Ooh. the right now. Yeah. You had to boil the meat off its bones. Yeah, that's, that's, that's my job. Not, that nice bleach white color. Ooh, Ooh. so juicy. Oh, good. and and. Don't don't move it because it's really fragile. But your barbecue arm is right up there. Oh, Ooh. nice! That's the arm that's going to be on the barbecue. Oh, it looks like it's already you guys see that right there? That is my barbecue arm. It's hard to see, but yep. Looks like a piece of beef jerky. I know. It doesn't look good enough to eat. <laughs> it does. Oh no! I bet you guys will never want to eat beef jerky ever again. Yeah. I don't know. Cannibalism. It still looks Probably good. You won't have to. We'll have all the kitties. Mom always said meat from the store. You never know what you're going to get. It, it could be cat. <laughs> <laughs> it could be chicken, <laughs> it could be rattlesnake, or even human, Ew, maybe yeah. horse. Oh, no, oh, don't horse. Be a horse. Yes. No, a horse oh. is a horse, of course. Uh, no, of course. Well, no, 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 no. People don't taste very good. Remember the no. Elton? Oh, horse tastes delicious. Oh, no. Yeah. Cannibalism. I love it. That's what the food, that's what... That's what you're <laughs> Don't put him on camera. It's bad. <laughs> he doesn't like I know. I, I had to. Don't worry. My best, my best friend doesn't like camera either. Uh oh, somebody's here. Come in. Is it dead or alive? Oh, yeah. Come in. It's alive. What's up? What's up? Hey, how's it going? Vlog? Junior. Junior. Vlog. Hey. Hold on. Because nothing makes me happier than to hear Travis start talking about a vortex tunnel and know what the hell it is. Okay, am I starting from the beginning again or? No, you don't have to start from the beginning. Okay. So he said, hold on, hold on, hold on, when I was telling him about the haunted woods over in Blackley, which was actually pretty cool. I'll just start over again. Okay, watch. It was 20 bucks general admission, a line from hell. They had like 10 acres of cars and it was pouring down rain so we didn't think there'd be that many people there. Apparently everybody else thought that exact same thing. So we paid 30 bucks. Oh, hold on. Travis has jokes. <laughs> <laughs> we paid 30 bucks for the fast pass, blew by all the lines, and it it was definitely worth the 20. I don't really know if it was worth the 30, but then again, I'm cheap. So um, cheap, cheap, cheap. It, it was good, though. They had a lot of cool stuff. Uh, they had, well, I can't really give it all away, but... They, they did a lot of great things with strobe lights and black lights, and they had some pretty cool props. Uh, the grounds themselves were done really well. Um, they got a lot of path out of a couple of acres. Um, now, when you say the haunted woods, I mean, my thing has always been, I thought like the whole thing was just outside, but you said that there's like buildings and stuff? Yeah, well, they had like makeshift buildings, and because it, it's an old dairy, so there's a bunch of outbuildings, but they really didn't utilize too many of the original buildings for the haunt. They just utilized uh, the property, like having old turned over cars and flame lights and the corn. There was corn maze pretty much throughout, which was cool. They had a ton of actors. Uh, Would you say that they had a crap ton of actors? A hell of a lot more than you're going to have, man. A hell of a lot more. Yeah, I guess I would say crap ton because it was like every 30, 50, 30 to 50 feet there was somebody in the corn, which was cool. I was in the back, though, so and there was five of us, so I was, you know, pretty much watching everybody else get the crap scared out of them. But um, the end was the best. The actor that you met as you were exiting was superb. 
I mean, she was just wonderful. Oh, and you're not going to give it away, no, huh? I'm not going to give it away. <laughs> you're just going to have to go and see for yourself. Because it was, uh -huh. I, I'm not spoiling that. It was good. I, it was, I don't want to screw up their haunt. So that was that was a good review because that's one that I wanted to go to last year. And it was like raining and I was running out of, ooh, shot. 500 subscribers, dude. Is it? 520. Oh, Ooh. Shot time. Okay, waking up now. Yeah, I took a cat nap. Nah. What do we got? Ooh, you got Sing. You know how I like Jim the Beam. Hack. That's five bucks. I beat that. Jim Beam. This. What? I seriously have not done this. Done what? I mean, we kind of th did this earlier, but it's customary when you have like even number, like five, six, seven, eight hundred. Here's for hopeful thoughts. That you take a shot, and I have not taken a shot. So, five hundred subscribers. Thank you guys. We're now at five twenty-one. It's just amazing. It's almost Halloween. Don't get all full of yourself. Oh no no oh no! I'm not. <laughs> I'm seriously not. Do you have any more of that cherry shit? Nope. Oh, the cherry shit's gone. Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. It'll oh, give you hair on your you. chest. I don't want any more hair on my chest. So, 500 subscribers. Thank you. A little late, but cheers. Those who know this know us well. Those that don't can go, go to hell. Yeah. I don't think that I've had a shot face that. Where's my chaser? Oh. Oh, it burns! It's like drinking gasoline. Wait a minute, that's where my character steps in. Huh, and your character steps in. straight it burns, you little bitch! <laughs> I'm gonna make sure you burn! <laughs> okay, what's this? <laughs> Travis is taking notes and getting into this. I really like this. It's our time. Um, this is the study. This so is open concept, plastic on this wall here, um, like the fireplace. I was thinking and right that's there. That's gonna be actor space for the drop panel. Right. Okay. And then I was thinking this pole right here would look pretty cool behind the um, fire place because it kind of looks like a natural chimney. And then we've I've got that scene setter stuff that's gonna go all up over back behind here office desk it's going to go over there it's going to have the skeleton in the chair and then also the uh, chair and the books and all the other stuff for the office the tea so set. So you're not going to have an actor in here? Um, and if I have one that I can spare then I can put one in here. So what's your theme? Just a skeleton? We're going for the whole I have, I have, dead, like a I have a freaking factory. awesome subscriber that is sending me an old Clue game. I'm going to have a dagger or a knife in the back of the skeleton. And on the table is going to be three cards. And it's going to be study, knife, and like Professor Plum or whatever. So Professor Plum did it with a knife in the study. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is so cool. Are they gonna? Be, they're not gonna be paying enough attention to appreciate that, though. Well, if they do, they do. If they don't, they don't. But you can't have scare, 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 scare. You have Why not? Have, <laughs> you have to have downtime. You have to have time for people to recover, which will be between now. Posh. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Posh. <laughs> Posh spice. <laughs> hey, I can get a little English every once in a while. I'm not talking about eight hundred either. About what? Old English 800. Oh, I was like, oh, dude, that was so good, I just missed it. So it, it was like peanut, like, meow. Dude, you have no idea how freaking giddy I am right now that you're getting into this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I freaking love it. And well, then Keith is doing the same thing. Keith played a practical joke on me. I'm not sure if you watched last night's vlog, I know you didn't. But he played a joke on me saying, yeah, bro, I can't do the haunt anymore because my, my schedule is too out of whack. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? And later on, he called me. Later on, after I'd been tormented for hours, it's like, fuck, what am I going to do? He tells me, oh, dude, I was just joking. 
I mean, I'm not going to be there yeah, as no, much. He but he wouldn't have said anything if he wasn't. No, he was just kidding. Yeah. He does that. Keith does that. Keith does that. God dang it. He needs Summer to stop bitch. it. He needs to stop <laughs> pulling your attention away from the shit that actually needs to be done. Ooh. Ooh. In, in the words of Kelso, burn! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guilty pleasure number six. That 70s show. So these are uh, these are the skull tiki torches that I have. Oh, dude, that looks awesome. <laughs> that is so cool. It's hard to get like all of it in frame and still not have the the sheen from the light. But that looks really really cool. So these are going to be lining the path going out of the haunted house before people go down here and to the left around the house. So you still have the green glowing. The blue is not as brilliant. And of course, the video never never gives it justice, especially at night. Are you carving this? I am going to carve that. And... Is that the one you want to do? Um, no. This is what I want to do. Because it's freaking awesome. Because that's what it looks like right here. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. So I've got that one, and then the one that I've done from the previous years. Uh, the Ghost, and the, the Reaper. So here we go. And my philosophy is always, I mean, since I started doing these, is that if you're going to take the time to carve it, then do it well, or do it so it lasts. Because nothing upsets me more than doing something and you sit there and you spend all the time carving it and yeah you can take petroleum jelly and put it around it so it lasts longer or whatever but when it all comes down to it they rot they go away so so make That's it stay what brings a family together every year make your kids <laughs> carve a pumpkin <laughs> uh, subscriber shout outs of the night 808 Nathan cool awesome cheerleading What's up? <laughs> and uh, let's see. Lady Chaos 91374 and Emerald Gypsy Heart. Thank you guys for subscribing. All right, so last night I told you guys I had like six little somethings, just little somethings uh, to uh, send out. Um, but we only had 10 people that put the information forward. So I decided to say, you know, what the hell? I'll go out and I'll get a couple more. So congratulations to Ghoulish Cop, a new subscriber, 808 Nathan, Tiamela, Widowmaker Production, Fair Useless Words, Ramthal Tall, still hard to say, C Dub Coop, Colorado Bend Lights, ABC Noise 2, and Blue American Monkey. So, it, it is now closed right now. I'm accepting no more, because this is enough. Um, but, you know, with only four people, it's like, oh, you guys, you know, went through the extra effort to do that, so I'll go through the extra effort and, and ship the stuff out to you. Um, I will send it in the mail on Monday. Travis, can I poke fun at you? Sure. All right. It's time for my cock, guys. <laughs> you have my blessing. Huh? Oh, your blessing. Oh, thank you. Uh, Ramthal, as to the take one box, bro, you could always Halloween it up, cobwebs and that sort of thing. You also might want to add some mini lights to it. You'd be surprised at how many people stop by at night. I know, isn't that kind of spooky, like people stopping by the house at night while I'm sleeping? Thank goodness nobody's taken anything yet. Knocking on wood, or at least particle board. As to your window, if you need more bugs, stop by a pet shop that sells lizards. They all sell containers of dead bugs. Food for the live lizards. Hmm. I think the window's done, but, and I thought pet shops sold like live, like crickets and stuff. I'm sure they've got dead ones. Maybe I'll do that. I may not have time. But if I have time, then. Okay, thank you. I'll, I'll just say that. I'll, I'll see what happens. John John 9111. This person or persons live in their car. Something is wrong with that. I won't tell you guys how many cars that I get into that are just 
absolutely disgusting. There's this one guy that his dogs stay in his car, and he's got like three big dogs, but you get into his car, and it reeks of dog and dog urine, and it is just so disgusting. People, We honestly, a lot of us gag when we get into this guy's car, but of course, because he's the customer, we have to put our smiley faces on and be like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really bad. A Hurricane Production, how do you advertise for a haunted house without printing 300 pages of paper and tons of ink? Very easily. I will tell you this right now. Go to, and I've already said this tonight, go to HalloweenHillmouth.com. Go all the way to the very bottom of the page and you'll see like a bunch of links for different websites that are um, basically haunt directories. I don't have Chateau Gurr on there yet. I really should. I just haven't updated it. I know. Chad Chateau Hawks. Chateau Gurr. I mean, what's there to... There's nothing lacking in that time. C-Dub Coop. Could you do a walkthrough the day before Halloween? Absolutely. I will be doing the walkthrough on Saturday prior to the haunt as I am running around like a chicken with my head cut off and like Linda Blair with my head spinning around. What are you doing behind me? Oh, okay. Um, Emerald Gypsy Heart. My questions, is this your first haunt build? No, this would be my fourth. Um, and I'm not sure if you know it, but hence the name uh, Hellmouth 4 Resurrection. I've done three haunted houses before, all of them um, one after the other. Unfortunately, last year I got divorced, couldn't do the haunted house, so now it's not an annual thing, apparently. So that's why this is my fourth one, hence the name Hellmouth. Four and resurrection is because I'm back. Uh, thank you for watching. Happy haunting. See you tomorrow. Epic haunt build tomorrow and like for the rest of this freaking week because I got the week off. So stoked. I hate work. I want to do this all the time and get paid. What the hell is that? It's the pants. No, no, turn it around. No. It's the plans. What? What are you? Bullshit. What do you got? Show me. Show me. Don't make me do this whole thing all over again. You're going to have to anyways if you're against it. Oh my god, what'd you do? <laughs> no. I agree with that. So yeah, ladies, single. Anyway, happy haunting. See you tomorrow. That's some bad hat, Harry.